another Eminem album tracks ranked video. So recently, Eminem released his second greatest hits album, Curtain Call 2. And many of you know I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to music, surprisingly. Movies or TV shows? That's my area. But music? Not so much so. Except when it comes to Eminem. When Eminem releases an album, which these days it's usually by surprise, I am downloading it as soon as I hear about it, and then I'm purchasing the physical copy of the album off of Amazon approximately two weeks later once it becomes available. And uh, this particular Greatest Hits album had tracks from Relapse all the way to Music Be Murdered by Side B. And listening to those tracks, it got me to listen to the albums again, and then all the other Eminem albums that are out there. All the major studio albums, from the Slim Shady LP all the way to Music To Be Murdered By Side B. And it got me thinking. So I've ranked all Eminem's albums before, from my least favorite to my favorite, which they're all great albums for the most part, and sometimes those rankings could change. But I've never ranked the actual tracks that are on the album. So I decided to do a series each Friday where I rank a particular Eminem album. The tracks that are on the album. Not the skits, but the actual tracks. And this week, I've decided to do Recovery. Which this album in my last ranking, I didn't rank that high. But previous rankings, I had it higher. So... I'm going to have to redo my ranking again after I'm done with this series of ranking all the tracks on the albums, but I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And at the end of this video, I'll put a an end screen to the playlist of all these rankings of Eminem's albums. Make sure you check that out. I've done the Eminem show, Relapse, Encore, the Eminem, or the Marshall Mathers LP 2, uh, Revival, all the albums except for three. Uh, obviously, this one will be Recovery. I still have the Slim Shady LP. I still have the Marshall Mathers LP, and I still have Music To Be Murdered By, Side A, and then I'm done with this album tracks rank video. So on this ranking, keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. On any given day, my opinion can change, and we are not going to agree. We may agree on some things, but there are going to be some tracks that you're like, huh? You have that that high or that low? We're going to disagree, so just know that ahead of time. And if you're a fan of Eminem, make sure you smash that like button. Share the video with any Eminem fans that you know, or put this video on any of your social media platforms. Uh, sound off in the comments section about what your ranking is. I know we're going to disagree, so let me know what your ranking is. Now, you don't... There's, 70, there's 17 tracks on this album uh, with one hidden track that people don't really realize sometimes. Um, if you want to do your top 5 or top 10 instead of all 17... That's up to you. Just leave me something to go off of. And then, of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You are watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, and show your damn support. So, starting this ranking off, On Recovery. In this album, I must say, there's no tracks on the album that I absolutely despise. These are all pretty good tracks, or pretty okay tracks, I'll say. Uh, there's a few epic traps tracks and then there's a lot of good to okay tracks so there's nothing i really hate so this is a really hard ranking to do because it's not like oh this is a shoe in for my least favorite so my least favorite i'm gonna actually let me rephrase that these bottom three are kind of interchangeable on any given day this order could change but at the moment my least favorite track coming in at number 17 is wtp white trash party i'm not going to go into details on why i like a certain track or lyrics that I like because, well, I just don't have time. I want to make the video a little bit shorter. I just don't really enjoy the, el the track. It's not bad. It's just the worst track on this album. And some of his word choices on this track I'm not the most fond of. So that's why I put WTP as my number 17. My number 16, I went with So Bad. Again, these bottom three are all interchangeable at any given day. They could flip-flop, but at the moment, I put So Bad as my number 16, simply because there's a lot of other songs on this album that are a lot better. No track, again, on this album is terrible or even bad. It's just okay to be mediocre. Number 15, I went with On Fire. Same rules apply any given day. My opinion could change. So those bottom three, kind of similar when I listen to it today, or tonight, that was my order of that. Now, these next six are also interchangeable. A little bit more distance in between them. The 14th one, or what comes in 14th place, I chose 
Cold Wind Blows. Some people like this track. I just think, compared to all the other tracks that are re remaining, they're all better than Cold Wind Blows. So that's why I chose that as my number 14. My number 13 is going to be Seduction. Now, I know a couple people in particular, they're going to be like, what? That's like their top five. In, on this album, it can't be top five, in my opinion. There's too many songs on this album that are a lot better. Again, all good tracks. It's really hard to do 14 through number one because there's a lot of good tracks. These are all pretty decent tracks remaining. The other three that I named were mediocre to okay. But that's why I put Seduction as my number 13. My number 12 and 11, I kept flip-flopping. So again, on a, any given day, they could go in reverse order. But at the moment, my number 12 is almost famous. Again, I know it's low. Keep in mind, this album has a lot of good tracks on it, so it's difficult. Just like the Eminem show was difficult, because that's a solid album of Eminem. All bangers, in my opinion. Well, the skits obviously are not bangers, but all the actual tracks are bangers. So, at the moment, Almost Favorites is number 12. It could be number 11 at another point in time. And it could be higher, but at the moment, it's number 12. My number 11, which I actually thought this track would be a lot higher, and I was surprised that I wanted to put it this low. It's a great song, it's catchy, and that'd be 25 to life. Any given day, my opinion can change, and that's the last time I'm going to say that because I sound like a broken record. I like the track, there's just a lot of other tracks on this album that I like more than that. So 25 to life is my number 11. My under, or my under, my number 10 is our secret track that's on this album. It takes place after track 16, and it is called Untitled. Now, I don't know if it actually has an official name, but I only see Untitled. It's not bad. It certainly could be higher uh, at another point in time, but I think this is a good spot for it, and that's why I put the Untitled bonus track that plays after uh, your, uh, what, your, uh, your Never Over as my number 10. My number nine, which I wanted to flip-flop between the bonus track or the secret track in this one, but I decided to put this one at number nine. Won't back down. It's a good song or a good track, song, track, whatever you want to call it. Again, just a lot of other tracks that I like a lot more. My number eight might become or might be a surprise to some. I think some people put this a lot higher. Going through changes. I just thought when I re-listened to this, it wasn't as powerful as I thought it was at the moment. I enjoy it. It's number eight. There's just seven other songs or tracks that I think are just a little bit better. My number seven is a track that a lot of people have in their top three. I don't think it's that powerful by any... I, I'd say top five at best for me. But at the moment, it's going to be my number seven. And that would be Space Bound. I just think what he says in it isn't as powerful and it doesn't I don't know it you know different people have different opinions on things and I well I think it's good I just don't think it measures up to the other stuff that's remaining so that's why I put Spacebound as my number seven my number six uh one of my my favorite tracks on the album but it's only in sixth place I really liked this song it was one of the the first songs I heard on the album because I remember a friend of mine actually said, hey, there's a new Eminem album, and I have it already. And it was like two weeks before it even came out, and I had to have it. So I drove like 35 minutes to go pick up a copy of it, and that would be Your Never Over. Uh, it has some some of the the, the, the melody of uh, the Lost Boys on it, and I, I just, I like it. I think it's, uh, it's good, and it's entertaining. I think it's just a little bit better than Spacebound, so that's why I put... You're never over uh, as my number six. My number five, another motivational Eminem song, which some people would put in their top two. I think it's good. It's just not as good as the other ones remaining. That would be Cinderella Man. Uh, again, good song, good motivation, uh, good hook. Just not my favorite. But one of my favorites, just not top five. Or it is top five at least, but only number five. Number four. Now, some people, I think, would have this lower. I don't know for sure because I haven't watched a lot of re recovery ranking videos, but I put Talking to Myself 
Uh, I really enjoyed this song. Uh, it's there was three songs that I re- listened to right away on this album that I listened to more than once or twice, and that would be my number one, which I will let you know when it's time. Uh, You're never over, and my number four, talking to myself. I think it's fun. Uh, I think it's it's interesting, and the message in it. I think my opinion again. Anybody else could completely disagree with me, but I I really liked it. So that's why I put talking to myself as my number four. Now, my final three, I think, are the best tracks on this album. So they're in their own category, with my number one being far far and away my favorite track on this album. But my number three, and I debated on putting this number two, and honestly, when this song first came out, I did not like it. Some songs it takes me a while to warm up to. This is one of them. Uh, these songs that play on the radio, I get annoyed by that are overplayed on the radio, and this definitely is an example of that. And that would be Love the Way You Lie. It's a fun song. Uh, it has a message to it. The music video is pretty good. It has Megan Fox in it. And at the time, I really liked Megan Fox when this song came out. And I still do for, for a, little, you know, a certain degree. But I think it's a great song. It's a, a standout track on this album. One of the standout tracks, I should say, in my opinion. But some people would put this as their number one. I'm not going to do that. But hey, I put it at number three. And I debated for a second at putting it at number two. So, Love the Way You Lie, featuring Rihanna, is my number three. My number two which of course will let you know what my number one is. It's a great song. It was the song that introduced people to this album, the music video, and that would be Not Afraid. Um, excellent song. I personally think it might be a little overrated. It I get Lose Yourself vibes when I listen to it. I like Not Afraid better than Lose Yourself, but it's a song that I'm like, is it that good? Is it really that great? Is it really that impressive? Some people would be like, yes. And I'm like, well, yeah, I say, yeah, sometimes, you know. But I like it. I've warmed up to it quite a bit. I mean, I liked it at first, and then I kind of stopped listening to it. But it's it's a good track. It has a good message to it. And that's why I put Not Afraid as my number two. So, you know what my number one is already. If you weren't keeping score, uh, my number one is No Love with Lil Wayne this is a fucking awesome track. It's one of the first songs that I heard Eminem uh, spaz out on, like where he went crazy. Uh, the other ones that come to mind are Forever, uh, Drop the World, and uh, this song. This was the first major Eminem song that was on his, his actual album. Although Forever was on Relapse Refill, but I don't count that because it wasn't the first edition of the album. But this is a really good song. Lil Wayne does good. Eminem does good. He snaps, in my opinion. The lyrics are phenomenal. It's a song that like sticks in my head. Uh, that's when I know I really like an Eminem song, when it sticks in my head, when I'm randomly doing stuff, which I guess, truth be told, older shit from Eminem sticks in my head a lot more. The newer stuff, with a few exceptions, kind of, I don't know, I, I guess I just don't, don't have the memory for like lyrics of a song and like beats and all that anymore, but this is one of the ones that does stick in my head. And it was my text tone for... Three years, I believe, but No Love is my number one. So I'm going to recap this just in case you're keeping track and want me to do it over. WPT, number 17. So Bad, number 16. On Fire, number 15. Number 14 is Cold Wind Blows. Seduction is number 13. Almost Famous is number 12. Number 11 is 25 to Life. Number 10 is the Untitled bonus or secret track that comes over or comes after your never over number nine won't back down number eight going through changes number seven spacebound number six you're never over number five cinderella man what i had that that low yeah it's, it's good it's just like four other songs better our tracks number four talking to myself number three love the way you lie number two not afraid and of course number one no love so again let me know what you think uh leave your ranking in the comment section smash the like button if you're a fan of eminem album tracks ranked or eminem or i don't know whatever you want to do if you want to hit the the thumbs down button too and fine that's fine it actually when people do that that helps the channel out if you react whether you thumb up or thumb down so do what you got to do uh share the video with whomever you want Put it on any of your social media platforms. Uh, I really want feedback. Even if it's negative feedback, I get it. Some people have different opinions. If you want to 
be be rude in the comments section. Please, not too rude, but if you want to say I'm an idiot. Like I said, I'm not the biggest music fan, except when it comes to Eminem, but I don't know everything Eminem, but uh, that's the only thing that I really care about when it comes to music. And of course, like I mentioned before, uh, I will be doing the Slim Shady LP next, I think. That will be next Friday, uh, November, no, what, what, next Friday is the, uh, October 21st. Uh, and I usually release my videos at 7 a.m. Central Time, so be on the lookout for that. That's going to be uh, an opinionated album because I'm not the biggest fan of that. I flip-flop. That's an album where I like it, I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it. So it'll be interesting on what my thoughts are. Remember, you're going to see this, the playlist for all these uh, ranking videos is right there. Listen to them all. Let me know your feedback. It's fine. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. You're watching the video anyway. Uh, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.